Hey y'all, I took a shower and shaved and I feel like I've unaged like five years. Let's hop in to some outer worlds. Last time we just uh, finally finished our quest line in the power plant and we're on our way back to probably not such a warm reception from the main part of the colony. This thing is kind of disgusting, disgusting. So yeah, hopefully everyone's having a fantastic day today. You know, I've been really enjoying Outer Worlds. I want to see, I'm guessing that like shortly after this is when everything's going to be sort of opening up for us, which is going to be super interesting how that plays out. Like my assumption is this is like our, uh, oh, what are the... I forget what the little towns are called that are uh, at the start of like Fallout New Vegas, um, where it's like the bandits attack the town and you're like, okay, now's your chance. Do you side with the town or do you side with the bandits? In this case, I guess we kind of took the siding with the bandits side, but at the same time, this one's a lot more sort of morally ambiguous than the uh, start of Fallout New Vegas was where this would be more I would say akin to probably giving us a choice of like hey do you want to side with Emerald Vale Community Center no we already went in there do you want to side with the NCR or do you want to side with the New Vegas Strip sort of thing but we can pretty reasonably assume that some of these people are going to be pretty mad as we get back in here See if there's any like little loot spots that we can grab. Let's see here. I do kind of feel like I maybe missed out on uh, recruiting Jeremy to our cause. But keep in mind, like we're not looking to be the bad guy in this playthrough for sure. We're looking to, you know, we're probably going to be anti uh, disestablishmentarianism. I don't think that's quite right. I think anti-disestablishmentarianism is actually pro-government. Lieutenant Mercer, Private Kimball. People of the can cannery, Constable yeah, Reyes. Right to leave. Desertion is a criminal offense, punishable by hard labor. They're already doing hard labor, brother. Hey, buddy. Oh, it's you. Reed told me I should be expecting you. He's inside. Oh. I found this cache of medicine. I thought I should turn it into you. Okay. Anthracillin, huh? That's an anti cleo product. I appreciate your vigilance on behalf of Spacer's Choice. Okay. I'll make sure this medicine goes to where it's most needed. Your compensation and your receipt. Spacer's Choice wishes you a productive shift. I'll leave you be. Hello. Phyllis Granger. Find time to visit, stranger. I'm guessing you're the foreman. Foreman Granger, mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. <laughs> okay, well I'll just leave you to it then. He's down here. Read Thompson. You want to know what gets my bile churning? Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters, plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? Why'd you do it? I don't owe you an explanation. It's not personal. I need your power regulator to, or to teach you a lesson. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I mean, out of these, probably I don't owe you an explanation. Um... Or to teach you a lesson. I mean, teaching him a lesson is kind of the, the vein that we were honestly playing Is that in. right? I'm dying to hear this. Please, educate me. Oh, let's, okay, okay. Um, here's the thing. Adelaide had the right idea. I had to make you see that. We're all slaves to Spacer's Choice. I'm liberating you. Life is full of betrayals. I'm just the most recent one. Or you're a hor horrible person. You deserve everything that's coming to you. You're all slaves to Spacer's Choice. Liberating? Edgewater is my home. The only home I've ever had. I put down roots here. Gave decades of my life to this place. I never asked to be liberated. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. 
I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. Intimidate 30. Call off your guards. Unfortunately, we can't do that one. Sorry about all this, Reed. Or what's going to happen to Edgewater? Edgewater's dead. Our cannery's dead. I mean, Adelaide's were... deserters are never coming back. Spacer's choice will shut us down before long. Some of us will die of illness by then. Some will move on. Some will starve. And as for me, I will tender my resignation. Whereupon I shall be processed and then duly imprisoned for gross incompetence. Just gonna, just gonna turn yourself in. I'm leaving. I ain't sorry. We've leveled up. Where shall we put our levels? Let's go ahead and hit 30 and sneak. Pickpocket, steal from humans while sneaking. That'd be pretty interesting. Um, we're currently at 60 engineering. We've got a 20 bonus from having Pavarti. Breakdown weapon is armor, 20% for a base extra basic mod. Seems pretty interesting. Um, you know, some of our dialogue has been definitely lacking. Uh, we've only got eight points, so honestly, that's going to put one of our per our persuasion right up at 20. 20% 20 chance to cower in fear for three seconds after the first time you hit them. Ooh, okay, let's apply. Combat dialogue abilities. You've unlocked a di dialogue combat skill. When attacking the correct type of target, they're automatically debilitated. Very cool, very cool. Um, extra EXP usually seems pretty good. Extra base health. I think that the ability to fast travel while encumbered is probably about at the point where it's gonna come in handy here pretty soon. Don't know that for sure, but here's the thing. I'm sorry, corporate guard one. I am also sorry, corporate guard two and three, and corporate guard four, like, you know, Oh. oh! Oh, that was her special yeah. ability! Yo! Oh my god, she's going ham on Reed, dude. Well, I'm interested in what Pavardi has, uh. Parvati has to say I can't I actually can't get her name right and it's so infuriating Spacer's choice are now angry. I wonder why All right, let's go ahead and loot these guard boys And get our power regulator Retrieve the power regulator a light pistol And then possibly get out of here. This is sealed. This is also sealed. We never got into this room. Probably something possibly to do with that Reed's key that we have. Okay, so these guys are a little bit mad. The residents are pretty neutral. So, I mean, honestly, I'm sorry to do this to you, Council Reyes. Oh, a couple of the residents get angry. Dude, I don't want to kill the residents. There we go. There we go. Everything's going to be Daijo. These guys are sleeper agents. Let's see. Experimental anthracillin. Oh, yeah, that was the quest I literally just turned into her. Oopsies. Like, listen, man. You really just gonna be out here following that dude's orders? Everything's fine. Just handle the, oh, just handle the hostiles. They got me. Okay, okay. Listen. We are gonna handle the hostiles. I promise you that. 
I did smash F5 at some point in there. I'm not sure if it actually quick saved. No, no quick saving. The dang sprats, dude. We got all of our stuff from these guys. Let's see. Not a peep for me. I'm honestly like, I mean, we could potentially just not attack any of these dudes, right? But that does not bode well for a lot of the residents, mostly because item repair. Yes, I do know about item repair. Mostly because that's going to lead to uh, them all just staying like members. Everything's fine. Oh, wow. Everything's not fine. Maybe this plasma gun that we have is just like actually OP. And then, I mean, also maybe we just like leave these people be. Don't go picking fights that we can't handle or that we apparently can't handle. Get the heck off of this planet for one. I think it's probably our next call here. Let's just sneak right on by. Go to the Emerald Vale region. Head back to our ship. And we could potentially, uh, I'm gonna probably fast travel back to the uh, like outcast spot and see if there's anything that I can get from them. Now that it's all said and done. Any like check-in. Um, yes, yes, item repair. Um, can't fast travel while near hostels. Uh oh. Got it. Inside voices. Got it. Inside voices. I think we're okay. Hello, big, big monkey men. Return to monkey. Botanical lab. Yes, that is where I want to go. So it looks like our sort of like general shop needs are met by the vending machines. Which is pretty cool. Very Bioshocky, like I said in the last episode. But we are gonna run around here real quick and see. Here's a deserter. See if there's anything else that we missed that was interactable back here before we head on. Hey there. Hey there. I want to ask you What's something. What's on your mind? Uh, never mind. We're out of here. Uh, maybe we can turn in this medicine to this lady, even? You are welcome here. I know I am. I should go, though. Okay. Well, um, I think that that's pretty much it, though. Personal files. Bypass. Open for a century. May the eternal bless your endeavor. It's been two days since I walked away from life at Edgewater Can Cannery. The soil is sour. I'll do what I can, but I'm going to need some powerful fertilizer. I'm tired of having to taste salt tuna lingering on my tongue, day in, day out. I want something fresh, something that grows from the earth. Found another work from Edgewater, ex worker now. Desertion rate's been climbing. Yeah, cool. Well, it doesn't look like these guys have anyone who wants to take this, uh. <clears throat> this medicine. Or who necessarily... Zoe oh. says she fought her way out of a marauder camp with her own bare hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are you selling? Fresh off the limb. And that includes canid meat. Oh, he's a merchant skill. Okay, okay. What is this? He's got Fiverr. Spacer's choice. Space choice of all of those customized by a weaponsmith to use heavy Vulcan ammo. Only five rounds fit in the c cylinder, but they hit like an asteroid. Buy this for 2,000. I mean, it's a named, it's a named thing. I'm, I have a hard time turning down cool named gear. I would like to purchase this, uh, E, buy. Hold R to repair all equipped. Yeah, sure. For 500? Yeah. Um, things to sell. If I look, I'm pretty sure I just recently did sort of a run through of some of my stuff, so I think we're okay. And that seems like that's gonna be it. So we should be able to 
just fast travel on back to our landing site. I'm excited. Let's get off of this planet. Hopefully, uh, I'm sure that the making uh, enemies with the corporation. Ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? <laughs> What's her drive mark? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. That's us, Edward baby. Won't last another season without power, but that don't change the fact that I'm indentured to Spacer's choice. Company expects me back at my post. Hell no. Nothing keeping you from doing I the have same. Imagined it, but until you came along, I never thought I had the choice. Let's get out of here. And you can say no. Can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. Hell yeah, brother. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? I'd be glad to have you along. Pick a cabin, it's yours. Yes! I mean, thanks. He won't Listen, regret after, this. Listen, after that, like, bloodthirst <laughs> that you had for Reed... <laughs> I can call you captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. <laughs> Very cute. Very, very, very cute. Let's get in here. Pavarti. Hello, Vicar Max. Well, I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. Sounds good, brother. Where are we headed? We'll talk later. For now, I gotta go talk to the robot lady. Captain, I have detected that the town of Edgewater is now without power. I appreciate you doing your part to hasten their demise. What can I do for you, Captain? What? I have a power do you regulator. you know how to install a power regulator? Engineering. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. I'll be back. Across the cargo bay and up the ladders. I'm so ready. Dunk, 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 dunk. Install the power regulator. Ticket to anywhere. Is even unlocked? Listen to that baby purr. What do you got up here? Vocational competence respecification machine. Character respecification. Choosing to respec refunds all your spent skill and perk points. You can spend them in a different way. Well, they increase each time you use the thing. Okay, that's pretty cool. The fact that there is respecking in this game is pretty great. Hello, what can Ada. I, do for you, Captain? I installed the power all regulator. Systems are operating within acceptable parameters. Damn straight. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Uh, let's get out of here. Yeah, dude. Oh, 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 oh got seen. I do gotta say, this isn't the prettiest ship in the world, but I do have to love the, uh, Par Pavardi's, uh, not Pavardi, Parvati's, uh, her appreciation for things that are like grimy and kind of half broke down is quite, quite wonderful. We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Hey, it's Phineas. Good, I've been waiting to hear from you. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. <laughs> How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Mm, nope. I'm feeling a little lightheaded. Also, I can slow down time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. Yeah, uh-huh. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. 
The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They yeah. can help us set things right. I like this guy. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Okay. Have a word with Gladys. Why don't you need a nav key? Slow down. You asked me to get involved with the black market? Uh, can't land somewhere outside of Stellar Bay. Or I could put a couple light years between me and Halcyon. I mean, also true. Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. I need a nasty. Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Oh. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. Okay. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys called Kelly. Okay, let's go have a word with Gladys. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design, cutting-edge technology, years ahead of its time. Oh. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's Quarters. Captain's Quarters? I'll put it to good use. Uh, wait, tell me what it is. Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The Shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. Pretty cool. It has limits. First generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. Okay. You mentioned that it uh, has limitations. Only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. Movement makes it more likely. Okay. Best used in moderation. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Okay. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. If they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. Very cool. Can I just, like, steal a uniform <laughs> or something? <laughs> a change of clothes. What is this? Some old spy cereal? Come on, What man. inattentive and brainless guard would be fooled by such a shabby disguise? The holographic shroud masks not only your clothes, but your face and fingerprints. It modulates your voice and sweetens your breath. Oh, that's nice. I'll put it to good good use. Thanks. Excellent. I'm not gonna I'll ask contact about the hologram. you once you found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission Noted. ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Oh, baby. Hold on. First things first, captain's quarters. Reed's hat. Forged under pressure, this decorative skull was carved from volcanic rock. Sometimes when faced with a choice, the only proper response is to annihilate the people asking you to make it. Oh, baby. Dialogue skills plus seven. Formerly the property of Reed Thompson, who is formerly the property of Spacer's Choice. I like it. I like that we have like a little trophy rack on top of just being able to wear this. Um, I wonder, can I put it back on there? Or is that just like... Hmm. Might, might not be able to put that back on there. Holographic Shroud. Holographic Shroud protection disguise. Uh, provided you have the correct ID cartridge for that area. Restricted areas of our, our off limited unauthorized personnel. 
Otherwise, this won't be an attack on sight. Okay, okay. A bin where we can kind of store our stuff. Pardon the yawn. It has been a week. Me messages for Alex Hawthorne. Unread message. Oh, I forgot to mention my previous mes message. Silly me, I'm mailing you a copy of my favorite serial, The Space Adventures of Singularity Steel. It's about a dashing space pirate at the heart of, well, steel. Not exactly board approved. Any similarities to a certain someone is entirely intentional. Okay, okay. Well, heck yeah, dude. Now, I assume that up here is probably... What are you? There's no response for the auto mechanical unit. Serial number etched in his chassis in in indicates the letter SAN. Okay. This is Petunia the Plant. This is not a Petunia. I'm not going to loot anything from any of these rooms. No, no, no. Oh, this is a uh, Pavarti's room. Pavarti. Index of banned literature. I find myself marveling at the complex simplicity of the Fibonacci spiral. I'm sure you know what that's like. Something vexing you, Captain? Okay, okay. Well, we'll, we'll have some time to talk to you at some point. Toss ball trading cards. This guy's definitely an interesting... He's an interesting Please keep character. The kitchen area clean and sanitary. Yeah. No messiness on my ship. What's with, what's with the purple glow? I don't like that purple glow outside of the bathroom. I think the entire bathroom's like radioactive or something. Okay. Well, heck yes, dude. We can go ahead, come down here. Oh, this is just like the exit. And, oh, yes. We're in space. I almost forgot about all that. Unreliable navigation terminal. Hephaestus, Monarch, Terra 2, Phineas's lab. Okay, okay. We're going to Monarch, I guess. Uh, oh, no, we're not going to Monarch. We're going to Cilia to meet... Uh, wait. Welcome to the system map. It does some stuff. Go to the journal. Where are we actually supposed to go? Um... She can sell you a nav key to Stellar Bay on Monarch. Right, where is she? Black market fence located on the ground breaker. But where, where is she? I guess it's probably here, because this is the one that has... Oh no, there's the ground breaker. Okay, we're on Terra 2 right now. And we're going to the ground breaker. Okay, let's do it up. Uh, excuse me? Cute animation. We've arrived at the groundbreaker. That's a big ship. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Can you make us land? The unit is a cleaning sand. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it. But I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. Oh. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. Okay, okay. I'll be cool. here. We've leveled up again. We're talking to her about Sam. Uh, you know, let's swap to, um, I love Parvati. She is a sweetie. Let's let's bring the pastor with I could us. Spend hours reflecting on the secret workings of the universe. Even though he's kind of insufferable. Is such a relaxing pastime. So, tell me what's on your mind. I excel at confessional listening. Um, you're out of my crew. I want you off this ship. Uh, any ideas where I can find someone who speaks French in this colony? I'd like to know about those I'm flying with. What's your story? I've been thinking on that. There's a former associate, uh, infamous philosopher scholar who oh, yeah. Terra 2 some years ago. He's an expert on Baconis. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it okay. would be him. That seems to make sense. Sounds like a good lead. How do we find him? That's a good question. We should start on the groundbreaker. 
It's where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra 2. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. Okay, okay. I'll comb the last six months of departure manifest to track the Philosophist's off-world destination. Right. Sounds good. Let's go. Thank you, Captain. Uh, so I gotta be able... There's Vicar Max. Um, so here's the thing. He currently has... Um, let's see. A sawed-off shotgun... I think I should probably give him like the assault rifle, right? And then maybe a bonk and hammer instead of the telescoping staff. That seems pretty good. It's one handed melee versus two handed melee. Um, this one that Pavardi has is also a one handed melee. So he's supposed to be extra good. Let's see. Oh, he has an upgrade base health threat generated. Or plus 10 to hack. I mean, I love I love their, like, skill bonuses. They seem so good. And distance, weapon, mode, aggressive, defensive. One soldier attack target companion continues to fight until combat is over. Always engages and attacks when the player enter, enters combat. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, we also leveled up while we were here. Uh, we probably want to get our uh, tech leveled up a little bit now that we potentially don't have uh, our girl Parvati in our, whatchamacallit. So how do I, is there a way to like, to, to pick which one of these I'm taking with us? Uh, maybe as we leave, it'll give us an option too. That's my room. We're headed out. Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson. Okay. What about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Okay. I'm sure we could head over to engineering now. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Absolutely. Did you want to talk about something else? Um, there we go. Time to go. Ah, okay. So we gather your party and venture forth. Up to, oh, I can bring two companions with me? Heck yeah, dude. We're like a whole dang old party. Well, we're going to be getting onto the groundbreaker here, breaking some new ground in this game now that we're ironically out up in space. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is where we're going to end the episode for today. I'll be back. Uh, we're here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, I will catch you all next time, though. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Do the YouTube things. It's what YouTube's here to do. I greatly appreciate it. I will see you all around.